What's going on guys, still here. Today I'm going to take a look at a really uh, interesting dev blog that just showed up. Came home from getting a, uh, iced coffee and I saw that uh, we have the result of Swedish and German baby making uh, for, you know, the kinky tank engineers out there that draw questionable stuff. Anyways, um, I'm loaded up on caffeine so the shit that I say is just my caffeine rush. Anyways. Uh, this vehicle is the Rakitin Automat, which is the Rakitin Jagdpanzer hull that some of you are familiar with, which the actual name of it is the HS-30 personnel carrier. Uh, and then they took the Swedish Ush turret uh, and slapped it on top, which if everyone at this point knows the Ush, uh, if you've played around, what is it, 7073 uh, Sweden or again 7073 Sweden. Uh, it's basically this tiny little armored car that has uh, a twin recoilless rifle with like an auto loader system, mechanized loader, uh, nine nine rockets each tube, and you can send them down range, and that's pretty much it. When you run out of them, you have to go to a cab and you have to reload. So this vehicle presents an interesting change up of the the Oosh. So the main drawbacks of the Oosh is that it's a wheeled vehicle. It's super light. Which, like, the AML-90 kind of, if you hit even, like, a wooden fence or something, you're not going to go through it easily, if at all. Uh, so the Oosh just being a tiny, light vehicle and being wheeled means it doesn't really have a lot of torque to get through things. Which, obviously, this is track, so it, that rem it removes that downside. The other downside of the Oosh is it just has the 9 rounds per gun, which is 18 total, and then you're done. Uh, which, you can get a lot of kills with them if you well place them. Uh, but the, the problem is, is that you have to go into a cap to reload it. So this thing, it says here that it's got a limited rocket stowage. But they don't really say anywhere in the dev blog that... Um, they kind of say it here, it's got the 18 rockets and the drums. But they don't really say if there's an extra reload, like somewhere stored in the vehicle... They just say that it takes a really long time to, to reload the racks. It takes this, they say, however, reloading the mechanized racks takes a significant amount of time. So firing in long bursts in most cases is not recommended. So they're kind of like, they're not really directly saying that it has just the 18 uh, rounds and then you're done. I'm assuming that if this does carry an extra reload, it'll be like the Ontos where, well, actually the Ontos has six barrels and it has two extra reloads, so it has, why can I not do six times three? 18 rounds total? Did I do my math right? I think I did. Because um, you have the six that you start with, and then another six, and then another six. I don't think there's a third reload, so I don't think there's another six on top of that. Um, and that takes, like, it doesn't take a ridiculous amount of time, like 30 seconds. I think it takes, like, ace 20 or 18 or something like that. It's long, but it's not. It's manageable because you're a little tiny light tank. The Oosh, like I said, when you run out of ammo, you're done. This, if this has even somewhere of uh, just any extra ammo, I guess, then it'll be instantly better than the Oosh in that way as well. It already is, like I said, because it's tracked and it's not wheeled. The only difference, really, the only downside, if you want to call it a downside, is the size difference. Uh, but it's still, like, low profile. It's basically, it's not a remote turret. Like, obviously, there has to be the gunner up there. But it's a pretty low profile vehicle for, like, sticking the hull hull down behind something and just using the, the, the rocket launcher. So, it's not bad. I think it'll be pretty funny. Uh, it'll probably be around the same battle rating, if maybe not a little higher, depending on the mobility and if it has extra ammunition. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, they want you to... Let's be honest, that's not a suggestion. They want you to buy the Term 3 pack, which if you didn't buy it during the Victory Day sale, the VE May sales, whatever, uh, that's on you. Uh, <laughs> $25, like I think it was half off or 30% off. Either way, not paying full price for this vehicle is pretty nice. It just needs the three-plane stabilizer, which other uh, content creators have talked about this vehicle. Um and they, it, you know, it's just, it's supposed to have the gun basically be level the entire time, no matter what kind of hill or, or whatever it's on. So, uh, it kind of loses out on that horizontal stable, uh, stabilization because Gaijin hasn't modeled the three plane or two plane stabilizer, whatever it is. 
uh, yet, unfortunately. But it's still a pretty good tank. And if it's around the same battle rating, like, I'm sure, even if this thing is like 7377, the term 3 is 80, if I remember correctly, 8083. Uh, so I'm sure you could take this with the term 3 and you'd have a pretty Mimi, uh, Wonder Waffa kind of lineup there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Actually, the, uh, some of the comments here were pretty funny. I looked at them earlier. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have something to say about this vehicle or whatever about the update. Looks like it's going to be pretty meme worthy the update. And, uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Steel, and I'll see you guys next time.